What's going on? Jake here with the Uncommon ADC. And today we're taking a look at an older Altoid survival kit I had put together. Um, it's this one obviously here on the top. The bottom ones are just there for size reference. Uh, this is a County Com uh, Topo at laser etched one. Um, this is a standard size Altoid 10 series. You can see it's about the same width as the one I have, but the one I used is about two inches longer. Um, and this one's a little bit heavier than a normal Altoid tin as well, just because it's made out of a better better material, so it's a little bit more durable. And then inside I have their uh, County Com silicone divider tray. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but just thought it was kind of cool and really like the look of the tin, so I have a few of these as well as a couple of the dividers. Um, but this kit is one I put together probably three or more years ago. Um, to be honest, I was never really into the Altoid 10 kits. Um, it's not something I'm going to carry in my pocket. And if I'm going to throw it in a bag anyway, I might as well use something with a little bit more organization than Altoid's 10 offers. But a few years ago, I remember wanting to put together something a little bit more capable and just kind of uh, test out an Altoid kit. Um, so I built this, threw it in a hiking bag, and... It lived on the bottom of that bag for the last several years and I haven't opened it since. Um, so I wanted one of the items in here. I remember one of the items is at the bottom of this um, and I wanted to pull it out for an upcoming trip. And so I figured might as well do it on camera and show what was inside. I don't remember everything inside. I remember some of it, but um, just thought it would be fun to take a look at uh, something I put together a few years ago. Um, so obviously on the outside, You'll see I have a couple of Ranger bands on here, um, different width. Um, these are mainly just to hold it closed. I think it's pretty packed and probably bursting at the seams. So um, mainly to hold it closed, but um, I have a few on there. I probably could have gotten away with just two, but these are also flammable or you can use them to bundle things together, you know. Um, so there's other uses for them. So I figured if I took one off, I'd have a couple extra on here. So they're holding on a roll of duct tape on the outside as well as a pocket pen. And uh, I believe this is from Recycled Firefighter. It's one of his Velcro patches and it's like a reflective patch. I guess the idea being just for additional visibility if you need to be spotted or um, it's dark out and you're walking on a road, you have some sort of reflector on you. Um, so I'm just gonna pull these off. Wow, I just sent the other Altoid tin flying, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and pull these off and we'll take a look at what's inside. So again, this is just a roll of duct tape. I didn't roll this myself. It's rolled around some like cardboard. Um, I actually bought it like this and putting it on the outside gave me a lot more than what I would have been able to put inside. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of strap it on the outside. Um, and then the pen is on there as well. I think the idea was that, you know, I could put the duct tape somewhere. It's a bright orange duct tape and I can write down where I was going. Uh, in hindsight, I don't think I ever tested if this would even write on there, and it doesn't write on it very well, so um, probably should have tested that out, probably would have been better off with one of those mini Sharpies here. Um, but that was the idea behind it. Um, obviously it didn't work out in execution, but um, that's what I was thinking there. And then on the back is this uh, reflective patch. I mentioned that I think that this is from Recycled Firefighter, and it's got two strips of Velcro on there, so it is removable. Um, and it doesn't need the uh, bands to hold it into place. Um, then the tin itself is, it says Magnum by Boker. I believe this is from the uh, Mermaid Knife. Um, I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure this is come, came from the Mermaid Knife and I just removed the uh, styrofoam insert. Um, and so you can see too that unlike a normal Altoid tin, um, this one doesn't flip up. It's actually like a lift liftable, um, lid so this is completely removable um so inside you'll see right up top i just have some kind of marker tape this isn't sticky or anything you can just tie it around a branch or something um to show where where you've already been or show someone else which direction you're headed um so just tend to come to mark off trails um and this is just a small small little bit of that um not a ton um and then underneath that it looks like um, this is from Tops. I think this came from one of their kits, and um, I think I, this is like my main knife in here. Um, you cannot use this for other things and kind of strap it to a stick to make an ax or a, um, a handle for it, but 
by itself, it's just kind of like a credit card size knife um, with a blade all the way around the edges, um, the two edges, so a lot of cutting surface. Not a super, super usable knife, but um, it is really grippy and it fit in here well, so um, kind of a cool knife. I think that came with one of their survival tins that I broke apart, um, but I can't be sure. I might have bought it separately. Um, underneath that, it looks like there's just a Benadryl, which I'm sure is long expired. Yeah, it looks like this one expired in 2019, um, so definitely going to throw that out, um, as well as a small roll of fishing line. Um, doesn't look like a ton, but a little bit of fishing line in there, as well as some, uh, thread. And this feels like it's pretty durable. It doesn't feel like standard thread, so I'm not 100% positive if this is anything special, but, um, it does feel like a pretty durable bit of thread. Um, in here, it looks like this is, I think these are the County Com Pico Pool. Maybe a different version that looks similar, but, um... If I open it up, I'm guessing there's some sort of pill in here. Yeah, it looks like these are probably Advil. Yeah, Advil's, and I'm sure those are expired as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump those off to the side. And drop the this back here. Um, up next, this is cool, another County Com product. It looks like I have quite a bit of those in here. Um, this is their grappling hook, and this is the smallest size. Um, I was actually just looking at their website, kind of hoping to get one of the bigger sizes. Um, never actually had any use for this, but in theory, um, this isn't something you're going to like throw and use to pull yourself up. Um, it's more for if you drop your keys down a graded gate and uh, you're trying to get to those, um, you can drop this, tie a string to the end of this and drop it in. Um, I'll put it together really quickly just so you can kind of see size-wise what it looks like and... Uh, get a better idea of its uses, um, but definitely not something that's gonna support any real type of weight, um, more so, again, for retrieving things or you know, throwing it up into a tree and pulling down a stick or something that got caught in the tree. Um, definitely not for any heavy, heavy use. Um, but once you screw those in, you get a nice little grappling hook, you can screw this back on to the end, and there's a, a hole here so you can run this thread through here and kind of drop it down or throw it over whatever you're trying to retrieve and you mostly a retrieval tool they have three different sizes of this this is the smallest there's another one that's about double this size i think it's about two inches and then there's like a hand sized one which is probably about four inches um maybe a little bigger it looks uh in the picture it looks like it's about four inches or so though um so i'd like to get one of those but they've been sold out for quite a while but this is just kind of a cool thing um Never had a real use for it, but just kind of fun and it fit in there, so. Um, up next is, again, something from one of those Tops kits. This is their whistle, um, so just kind of a small Tops whistle. And this is a really super flat one that fits in there, and it looked like it would clip, but I don't think it actually does. I think that's just a vent for the air. Um, let me pull this out, actually, just to make a little bit more room on the tray. Um, up next is some rolled water bags. Uh, looks like there's just one in here. These are uh, just water bags that you can drop purification tablets in, and uh, these are freestanding, so they have this little roll up at the top. You fill it up, and then the bottom is kind of the squared off um, bottom so that you can stand them up and let the tab sit in there. Which brings me to the next item. Um, these expire in 2025, so these are still good, uh, and they're just aqua tabs. Um, so you can fill one of these bags, and I believe you drop two tabs into the bag um, and let it sit for a little bit, and it will purify your water. Um, ideally, you probably want to, wherever you're collecting it from, maybe use some sort of bandana or even your shirt to filter out kind of bigger objects, but that'll filter out um, some of the smaller stuff. Um, next up is this just piece of electrical tape. You can see kind of imprinting through. Um, there's two small fish hooks in there, so that obviously goes with the fishing line. Um, nothing too special there, just a couple of fishing hooks. And then a glass vial that has some safety pins and sewing needles in there. And I think the bottom is just a chunk of paper towel to keep it from jingling so much. It's still a little bit jingly um, when you roll it, so didn't help too much. But uh, yeah, just some needle in there and then a little piece of cork 
which is also a nice little helpful thing that we can use with the fishing kit or um, just to stick the needle in so you don't stab yourself. Um, next up is the Gerber Splice. Um, I remember I ordered this at the same time as the Leatherman um, Micra, I think. And this is just a scissor-based tool. Um, I want those scissors rather than pliers just for kind of cutting line and that kind of stuff. Um, but it has a couple nice tools on here. Um, just to supplement. Obviously, there's a small blade in here um, to supplement this one. It might be even a little bit more usable. And this just kind of a springy pair of scissors. Um, so it was nice that I was able to fit that in there. Um, a little bit bulky, especially if it were a smaller, um, smaller Altoid skip, but for this one, it worked perfectly. Um, so next up is just a chunk of sponge. Um, so these are expandable sponges. When they get wet, they kind of fluff up into a normal size sponge. Well, I guess not, not quite normal, but thicker than it is now. Um, a little bit of sponge for whatever, whatever I might need it for. Um, just kind of a nice to have, and it's pretty compact, and it kept the everything underneath from jingling around, um, which is nice. I have a lot of like metal or metal things on the bottom, so it um, was nice that it kind of separated it from everything else and is like held everything in place. Um, up next is this mini folding saw. Um, I'm not sure who this is by. There's a Swiss made on it, but just a tiny little folding saw. Um, you're not gonna be able to cut anything major with it, but small branches and tinder, you can kind of chop up with that. So that is nice to have. And then one of these P38 can openers. I think this is the 38. This looks like the smaller one. Um, there's also the P51 ones, but they're a little bit larger than this. Um, so just a small can, uh, can opener. I think that's also from County Com, but tons of different companies make them. Um, and then just a signal mirror. Um, so this is just a small signal mirror. It's got a hole in the middle so you can kind of see where you're aiming it at. Um, nothing special. They're still in the plastic so it doesn't get scratched up. And then there, it looks like there's two of these tiny little glow sticks. Um, I have a bunch of these. I actually don't know if they work. These are several, several years old. Um, just out of curiosity, just kind of breaking them. Yeah, it looks like these still glow a little bit. Um, they're obviously not huge, but nice little glow markers for you. Um, they're not going to give off a ton of light, but they do glow a little bit and uh, will give you a little bit of light. Um, Nowadays, there's so many small flashlights that would fit in a kit like this that um, if I were building one now, I'd for sure put a real flashlight. But still, these take up almost no space and are pretty cool. And then up next, this is the item that actually um, I was trying to get out of the kit. This is the one I was looking for. And this is from uh, Chuck Cook. It's actually on the axe little head itself. So this is a tiny little axe head that you can split a stick with, so you just kind of use it to split the stick, put it in here, and then you put small branches um, in each of these holes and tie it off, and it makes a miniature axe. Um, so I think this was partially the inspiration behind this kit. I wanted to be able to put an axe into an Altoid survival kit, and so Grim Workshop has a small axe card, but this is obviously made out of kind of real steel. Um, this one's uh, blued to kind of prevent uh, rust and corrosion, but he has a standard one. He doesn't have a lot of different products, but it's a small kind of knife maker. I think he has about three products on his website right now, um, but he's still in business. I'll put the link down in the description below, um, but he was really easy to work with. Um, there's not like an order button, you just kind of email what you're looking for and set up a PayPal. Um, but really easy to work with, really cool guy, and um, just thought this was really cool. And so I'm going on a trip uh, soon and just kind of wanted to test this out. I also have the uh, CRKT, I think it's called the Persevere. It's a much bigger version of this. Um, and it comes with some pegs that actually go in the holes for that one. Um, so kind of want to test them out head to head. I've built um, a small ax out of this before just at home but never on a trip and uh it's been sitting in the bottom of this kit for several years and just kind of wanted to get it out so really cool little axe head that fits in the standard size altoid tin as well um that was the original intention for it was specifically for altoid kits next up is another county Com product this is their 
uh, pry bar. I'm not sure what size, uh, three inch straight. I'm not sure if this is a stainless steel or titanium version. I'm assuming stainless steel just because um, typically they'll stamp TI on anything that's titanium, um, but I don't have a magnet to test that out, so I'm not positive. Um, next up is just a Fresnel lens, a little fire starter um, that you can use to start fire or you know, identify if you have a splinter and try and find it, just kind of magnify different things, but mainly as a fire starter here. Next up is just a short-term survival tip. Again, I think this came with this Topps um, Altoid kit. I don't know what happened to the rest of that stuff. I'm guessing the saw actually did too. Um, I don't know what happened to the rest of that kit or that tin, but uh, I know these come in them, so I think I just threw this in there since had it and it was made for an Altoid kit. Um, next up is just a really big needle. I think this is more for like heavier duty repairs if you're trying to sew Cordura or something like that. Um, it's just a really thick needle that you can use. Um, obviously I have the smaller needles in that glass vial earlier, um, but those are going to be pretty hard to push through if you're trying to sew your backpack up or something like that. And then the last item is just a small, small ferro rod, um, which I don't actually have a striker in here. Um, funnily enough, I'm assuming something on one of these tools will work, obviously. Oh uh, yeah, this has a nice 90 degree edge. Um, so I definitely could use something, but um, building it again, I might throw in a small striker, um, dedicated striker just for ease, but um, I definitely could make something work out of these. And that was everything in the kit. Um, it's obviously missing a lot of stuff that if I were building it today, I'd probably put in there. Um, I think that my idea back then was just building something with capable tools and a little bit heavier duty tools. Um, I would definitely replace probably this with a real knife. Um, I'm not sure why I included this. I guess just it was an extra that I wasn't using for anything else, but um, doesn't seem like the most usable knife. Um, and I could probably get a small, small folding knife in there. Um, that would be a lot more capable. Um, and also probably put a flashlight and a little bit more first aid. Um, a lot of really random blades here that I could pro definitely cut myself on. So um, definitely some band-aids and things like that. Um, but overall, some really cool tools in here. Not a whole lot packed in such a big Altoid tin, but um, just kind of heavy duty, fun, fun items. Um, so I'll, I might build another one of these based around the uh, the standard size. Um, I have a lot more gear nowadays that would work a little bit better. Again, I'm not super excited about Altoid tins and uh, they're not my favorite form factor for packing gear, uh, but it's definitely a fun exercise just to kind of get things specifically to fit into different containers and uh, I like building kits. So I'm gonna work on a, a new, newer version that's a little bit more capable in a more standard size kit since I cheated a little bit on this one. Um, but let me know what you think I'm missing, if there's anything you'd take out, um, and what you thought of the overall Altoid kit. Um, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.